Good morning guys. Today I am with another PS3 Slim and its model is 2003A. Have a look on its fault. It's on yellow light. It is with a yellow light error and three beeps. So let's start. Oh my god, somebody has removed his HIS and even tried to reflow this GPU and CPU. So let's and here he has added a token capacitor and uh, only one token capacitor has been added and it is on yellow light fault so let's check it first of all I will check for its power supplies with my own workbench power supply red light here I have to connect the ground one of the ground with this PC here it is and now as you can see the oscilloscope as well I will turn it into analog mode and I will check for the power supply First power supply, I will check here, it is the input and it is 1.8 volt and it is the output, it should be 1.5 volt but here it is 1 volt. Second power supply, it is 1.8 This power supply is not working fine. Let's move to other power supplies. Here is the GPU RAM power supply. It is also not good. Here should be the oscillation from these two FETs. These, it is a dual FET that drives this inductor and uh, here should be oscillation but no oscillation here is another inductor and uh, it should have also like this it has oscillation in order so these two FETs are working fine it is uh, a 12 volt power supply obviously it is available and uh, here is also the 12 volt fine now let's uh, move to our GPU power supply this inductor input it should be an oscillation yes here should also be an oscillation yes it is in order and the CPU power supply this is the input uh, oscillation is in order and here oscillation is in order 
and this is the CPU RAM power supply it should also be an oscillation yes and this supply for 5 volt yes it is also in order it is not 5 volt but it is 1.8 volt ok so as this power supply is not working and uh, now I have to check for the shortage underneath this GPU and CPU because these both chips have also has been refloated by somebody to check it I will use my digital meter here yeah. and uh, one first of all I will set it to the zero reading yes I will put one prop to the ground and other prop will check on this positive of this capacitor yes it is not short 118 ohm it should be 115 ohm but it is 118 ok and uh, here I will check for the resistance of the GPU 4.9 fine and I will also check for the CPU resistance it is also fine so guys uh, this motherboard is repairable because these two chips are not ruined by anybody so first of all we will check for this power supply this is not working ok For this I will go to my oscilloscope component tester and I will check for the gates of this dual FET. Yes, it is short. And second gate, it is good. But this gate is short. And it is short with the power. So I have to remove this FET first. I will remove this FET. If I show you closely, this is FET and this is the gate, first gate for the one FET. This one, the first gate of this FET, it is short to the positive volts and second is logic gate is good so maybe the fault would be at the back side of this chip in this chip but most probably the FET this dual FET is not good so here I should check for the fuses this fuse yeah it is also short fuse is short and open this fuse should be intact but it is open now go to the second fuse and it's fine the reason for the blown up this fuse is the short circuit short circuit is most probably the FET that I have already checked on the back side uh, sorry on the front side so first we will remove here I will check it for this uh, it is 11 mega ohm fine and the second point of this fuse is giving me 2 kilo ohm but it is open it has been blown up and this one is uh, 
should I check it like this? Yeah, it is intact. This fuse is intact, but this fuse is open. This fuse is blown up. So, first of all, I will remove this FET from this board. This dual FET. This one. AC cold air was here directly on this motherboard. short logic this one now it is fine you can see a curve at the top this curve and this logic is no more short and here is the other one, that's why. And uh, if I would check for this FET, I will check it with my component tester. So this is the ground, three pins are for ground. This is, these three pins are ground. I will, <coughs> I will connect one of my pin to the prop to the ground and uh, these six are the outputs these all are the outputs for this FET as you can see the logic here this this and even on these pin the same logic and now I will trigger the gate this one now it is switched on on all pins like this 
this and this. If I will trigger this again, it uh, should be open like this. Yes, now it is open, 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 open. It means the FET is not bad, but there is something else. Here I should check this yet. I have seen a incline in this logic as uh, compared to this one this is the gate of this FET and uh, it is straight in vertical so I will check for the output of this gate Here I will, this is the, this coupling resistor is the output as you can see that it is uh, inclined, somehow inclined and uh, on the other hand it is straight, here it is inclined and here if I check it this and this it is straight. So I will check for this resistance it should be at 10 ohm or so if I check it it is showing 11 ohm it is not good it should not be 11 ohm and here if I check this output it is 3.6 ohm and uh, this is also output it is Ohm. So let me verify. Get the same board, and uh, it is the same model. And uh, here is the resistance that I am doubtful about. About I am doubtful. Yeah, it is 10 ohm. And this one 3.6. This one 5.7. In 10 ohm, it should not be such inclined curve. 11 ohm it means that it is varying its value I am 100% doubtful about this output so I should reflow it then I will check for the exact value it should be at 10 ohm I will put this chip back because it is not bad.
have to replace this fuse. Yes, this one. This one. Yes, it's fine, and now I have already replaced this resistor, this one, so now let's check it. If I check the logics on this board, of this FET, it is not okay. And second one is okay. It is fine. Now try to turn it on again. Standby red light, and now it is on, but uh, it is off to the overheat. If I check for the power supplies that were doubtful. This one, uh, this one, this, it is 1.8, output is 1.2, yes, now here it is 1.8 and the output is 1.5, okay. And uh, this supply was there, it was not working, now if I will check uh, at this input, inductor input there should be a clock yes clock is available and the output volts must be available yes 1.8 volts 1.8 volts are here too so here should give the clock yes and it should be on and then off no. Yes, yes, it's fine. It's mean the processing is also good. And guys, uh, I have to reflow the CPU. As you can see, that I just reflowed this CPU on my machine. Not the RSX, but only the CPU. I have to reflow it. Now let's test it again. Uh, here is a red standby light. I am going to turn it on, but uh, now I should put the cell back into its cage. And uh, it's on.
Yeah. Now six beeps. Six beep, beeps mean it is uh, overheating now. And no more yellow light fault. So let's check after fixing it on its fan and heat sink assembly. I will just put it back. Standby wall check, trail wall check, and uh, here I have damaged the strip, but no problem. It's packing here. and uh, obviously the HDMI cable okay. now I will turn it on and yes no more yellow light fault and now we will go to the display So guys, I have to rectify two of its faults. One fault was in the power section of the GPU internal memory power. Uh, as uh, you have seen, the dual FET was not good, and the coupling resistor from the PWM to the FET gate was not good as well second fault was in CPU I have to reflow its CPU and now everything seems to be fine so thank you very much for watching my video goodbye